Apple unveils sweeping changes to comply with Europe's Digital Markets Act. In response to the Digital Markets Act DMA, in the European Union EU, Apple has introduced comprehensive changes across iOS, Safari, and the App Store. These updates, aligning with the DMA's requirements, encompass more than 600 new APIs, expanded app analytics, and advanced functionalities. Notable enhancements include alternative browser engine options, diversified choices for processing payments, and novel avenues for iOS app distribution. Specifically for iOS, developers in the EU can now leverage new frameworks and APIs for alternative app marketplaces, facilitating app downloads from various platforms. Additionally, an interoperability request form allows developers to submit requests for compatibility with iPhone and iOS features. To address potential risks, Apple introduces safeguards such as notarization for iOS apps and app installation sheets, providing users with essential information before download. Safari, too, undergoes changes to comply with the DMA. Users in the EU will encounter a choice screen when opening Safari, prompting them to select a default browser from a list of options. These adjustments aim to align with DMA requirements while acknowledging users' preferences. The App Store undergoes significant modifications, offering EU developers new options for payment service providers PSPs, within their apps, processing payments via Linkout, and providing business planning tools for estimating fees. However, users will now be informed through product page labels and in-app disclosure sheets when an app uses alternative payment processing. Apple introduces new business terms for EU apps, offering reduced commissions and payment processing fees. Developers can choose to adopt these terms or continue under existing ones. The changes aim to support the DMA's mandate for alternative distribution and payment processing, fostering a balance between developer interests and user security.